President Obama put the finishing touches on his State of the Union address last night. The speech is creating controversy even before he's delivered it. His advisors told us today he plans to tell Congress he will use his executive powers to get at least part of what the Republican-controlled House won't give him. One of those things is an increase in the minimum wage, at least for some workers. Major Garrett has seen part of the speech at the White House tonight. Major? Scott, the president will highlight continued job gains. He will talk about an improving housing market and a stronger auto industry, but he will concede that wages remain stagnant, income inequality has increased, and the feeling that many Americans have that they're treading water economically and doubt whether or not they can ever get ahead. One of the things the president will say is our job is to reverse these tides. What I offer tonight is a set of concrete, practical proposals to speed up growth, strengthen the middle class, and build new ladders of opportunity into the middle class. Some require congressional action, and I'm eager to work with all of you. But as you mentioned, Scott, the president will take some action on his own. He eventually will sign an executive order raising the minimum wage for some federal contract workers to $10.10 an hour. But the White House has not told us when that executive order will be signed or how many workers will be affected. Major, thanks.